the MK party was in Alex Stadium, Alexandra Stadium in Soweto, Gauteng. And the numbers came out once again for Jacob Zuma. It looks like this man can't get anything wrong. Watch this. Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. Peace in Pan-Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Said So. I'm your host, King053, Mr. Easy Imali, and we're back at it again. And this time around, we're covering Umkonto Wesis. It's been some time since I've covered them. Uh, so it's nice to speak about Jacob Zuma. Uh, for me, the best president South Africa has ever had compared to the other three. Better than Mandela better than Thabo Mbeki, definitely better than Cyril Ramaphosa. Uh, Jacob Zuma was the only black president that was hated by the colonizers. And all the others I have named are loved by the colonizers, which is something, there's something wrong. When your colonizers love you, there's something wrong that you are doing. So uh, Jacob Zuma was, was in Alex and, uh, you know, I'm asking myself, and I, I keep on hearing this every time when I speak about Mkonto Wesizu, where people are saying people are mobilizing themselves. And that is why Mkonto Wesizu is so big. There isn't um, like a formal structure that is organizing people. There isn't a thought out process of organizing. Like people are just coming out, uh, out of free will to come to Mkonto Wesizu rallies to come to Mkonto Wesizu and meet and greet. Like where Jacob Zuma goes, it's like, where are these people coming from? Are these people really hungry to make a, a political um, uh, impact? What, what, where are these people coming from? Have you ever asked yourself that? Huh? Is it just people who are passing by and they had the music? Or is it really that the people love Umsholozi that much that they will mobilize themselves to the point of filling any venue that this man goes to. That is why I continuously said that the growth and the gatherings of Mkonto West Sizwe, um, they scare me in a good way. They scare me. They scare me. Like I'm, I'm like, I'm wowed by their, by, by their, by their gatherings and their numbers that 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 come out I, every time it's a wow it's a wow and uh, you know these people don't um, even have like a formal facebook page where you can follow and get information for everything is scattered if you go on facebook and type on konto you're going to get three or four and five different uh, Facebook pages, fan pages, and it, you don't get the formal one. At least now they have um, their, uh, their youth structure, uh, uh, their youth league uh, led by Bonginkosi uh, Kanyile. And I'm telling you, the man is doing a great job. Bonginkosi is doing a great job. This when I see Ubongin Kosi, you know, and I did not think that he's a, he could be this impactful in, in, at, at a um, political level. I understand that uh, I, I followed him throughout the struggle of fees must fall and everything. I was very angered for him to be arrested and to stay in prison for as long as he did. Very happy to see him released. And I uh, was very concerned to see him 
um, in the PA. I was like, what are you doing in the PA, my brother? Then I was very excited to see him um, moving from the PA to Mkonto So I think that was one of the best decisions that he made in his life. And um, look now, he is the, 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 the general, the commander of the, the Mkonto Wesizo Youth League. And looking, looking, I don't see anyone that could have done a better job. In fact, I would even go as far as saying only the EFF and um, and 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 the MK have got vibrant, vibrant youth leagues. The student command of the the EFF can definitely, definitely do better. I'll give them number two behind Umkonto Wesizwe because I like what uh, um, Mr. Kanyele is doing. I like what Bongingos is doing, guys. I love what he's doing. His gatherings. He does come out as a as an arrogant person, but um, you know, people who 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 don't bother us, who don't touch us emotionally. Sometimes I get worried about them. Like you have to rattle some feathers, man. When you are a human and you are in politics and you say you are youth and you want to be a youth leader, there has to be some type of vibrant energy that comes out of you that attracts people and also irritate some who are not ready. The way he speaks, the way, the way some people are going to hate him just for the way he speaks and some people are going to love him for just the way he speaks. And that's what I want from a youth league leader. Don't want a soft-spoken youth leader like Colin Malaji of the ANC. I want someone who's going to push the ticket, man, who's going to move the envelope and, and set the buy higher, higher and higher each and every time he speaks. And Bong Nkosi, ha, huh, he's the key card for, for Mkonto Wesize. Watch the space. This, this boy is going to be in parliament. He's going to be in parliament. And he's going to be the, one of the main reasons why Mkonto Wesizwe is going to go into parliament. Is Mkonto Wesizwe going to get um, anything close to 20%, 25%? Who knows? Who knows? Remember, we don't have uh, a previous election or a previous anything to, to gauge them, to see exactly how far they, uh, we think their growth is, their numbers. The only thing that we have is the numbers that they say there are over 5 million members, active members, uh, registered under Mkonto Wesizwe. That's the only thing. If those numbers are going to turn into electorate numbers, uh, we, we're not sure if they're going to come and, and cast their vote. If those 5 million plus people come and vote for Mkonto Wesizwe, they are either going to be the opposition part, the op, uh, official opposition, or they're going to be the ruling party in a collusion with the EFF. That is exactly what we are seeing here. In fact, we must stop ignoring the fact that the EFF is going to work with Mkonto Wesizwe. We must stop ignoring that fact. Those two parties need each other, plus the ATM. Those, those two parties, they need each other more than ever if they want to take the ANC away uh, out of power because it is their is their is their moon pack collusion that is going to be better than what the DA is doing. The DA is clearly losing power. There is no one that has predicted that the DA is growing. There is no way the DA is growing. All my African brothers and sisters that are voting for the DA, please stop it. You we have we have enough black options for you guys to come. I don't care even if you go to heaven mashaba or go to musi maimane or even to rise mzante i don't care just stop voting for the da stop voting for your colonizers the da has proven itself time and time again for of being a racist a racist party you'll never hear them speak against racism in schools when black children are discriminated because of their hair you'll never hear them speak against um, uh, Africaners flying the apartheid flag, the old apartheid flag. You'll never hear the DA speaking anything that is against the racism. So my African people, I'm, I'm, I'm begging you guys, leave that party alone. It's not your party. It's got their own people. Go to the PA, go to the MK, go to EFF. I don't care where you go. White people will never accept you as their equal. So when it comes to Mkonto Wesizwe and Jacob Zuma, I'll, when I find the speech, I'll post it for you guys. I'm very impressed, guys. I don't know what you guys are seeing here. I, 
I can't see Umkonto Wesizwe with the numbers that it's managing to to uh, compile every gathering. I can't see them anything less than five percent, uh, less than ten percent in their first elections. And I think uh, when I say less than ten percent, that's the minimum. The maximum, I, I can see them there in the twenty something percent. I can see Mkonto Wesizwe somewhere at the twenty something percent or close to at least you know and that's a big 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 uh, statement that i'm making uh because where will the eff land if mkonto is get 20 something per some something percent where will the the da land if mkonto is gets 20 something percent where will the anc land if we say um Konto is going to uh, get you know 20 something percent because there's like 280 something parties that are they are registered that are going to compete in these uh, national elections. And uh, for us black people, that can only mean that we are confused as black people. That is why we've got so many political parties, power hungry politicians who don't want to uh, um, follow, but always want to lead because most of these parties, you can group them in, in, in three groups, like your, your multiracial parties, your, your, your Rise Mzanti, Build One South Africa, Action SA, and then you can build the, the Christian parties, religious parties, then you can say the Pan-Africanist parties. In, in those three categories, all those parties fall in some way there. So for me, it's, I don't understand why there's more than 200 political parties. Uh, this freedom of association is killing, is killing us as black people. And that is why white people will always challenge us in trying to think they can build Orania, thinking they can build Fatherland, uh, Clean Fontaine. People only speak about uh, Orania, but you never hear people really speaking about Clean Fontaine and also now the new trend that has been there for quite some few years actually of um, the DA and other white parties wanting to uh, uh, colonize colonize Western Cape again and make it a, their own state. Pure rubbish. But anyway, that's my thoughts about Mkonto Wesizwe. I love what I'm seeing with Mkonto Wesizwe. I can't lie to you guys. And uh, for me, um, they are not a threat to pan-Africanism. If they were, I was going to be worried. But Mkonto Wesizwe is singing the same song as um, the EFF. Maybe not as, as loud as the EFF being considered to the whole entire of Africa. Um, but I don't see the lives of black people getting worse because Mkonto Wesizwe has won an election. I can only see the, the lives of black people getting better because of Mkonto Wesizwe, because of the EFF, because of the ATM. ATM, Nayo, their, their African policies, yeah, it's not, uh, how can they call themselves African transformation, but they don't believe in decolonizing the borders. But anyway, that's a topic for another day. So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. If you, it's the first time you've tuned in, please consider to click the subscribe button if indeed you have enjoyed the video. And uh, leave your thoughts on the comment section. I'd like to hear what you guys think about um, Mkonto Wesizo at Alex. And really, um, we said Mkonto Wesizo must go to uh, what you call Moses Mabida after all the parties have went and they need to, they need to kill it there because the EFF has left uh, the, the door open behind them because the Moses Mabida Stadium was not full to capacity. And um, the ANC is probably going to do better than the EFF. But, you know, we understand that the EFF was really just focused on KwaZulu Natal and it was not the whole of South Africa going there like they did with the uh, Soccer City FMB Stadium where they filled it with more than 100,000 people. So uh, with that, we'll pardon them, but it has left the window open for ANC to do better and for for the IFP to try and do better. I don't think the IFP can beat them, but Umkonto Wesizwe can definitely shock the world with the numbers that they will bring in at uh, what you call uh, Moses Mabida, should they choose that stadium as their uh, venue for their manifesto. So thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. And after you pray, stand up, African child. Do your best so that God can do the rest. Peace in Pan Africanism. I salute you. Yeah.